Catfish! This episode of Catfish was fuckfish, okay? Because it was some complete fuckery. I did not like it at all. Like, I'm, I'm not... May, I don't know, maybe because I'm not, you know, I'm not white. I, I, I just can't get into these episodes with, when the white folks be on there. But I, I love my white people. But this episode, like, it seemed like every time y'all get y'all ass on here, y'all are boring. Like, I, if, it's not a, if it's not a black one, and if it's not somebody that's gay or whatever, it's just boring as shit. You already gave us that damn boring ass notebook um thing two weeks ago, and I'm still pressed over that shit, okay? If you expect me to review on that, I'm not doing a damn review on that, okay? Catfish, oh, uh, hey. So, um, what do I want to talk about? Ariel, under the, under the sea, under the sea, honey, she came, um, she talked, her damn, I guess her mama was Ursula, and then she, she talked about some damn, I don't even know. Ursula gave her the damn power to get onto the sea. She fucking going to meet Prince Charming, whoever she was. I don't know why do y'all keep thinking when somebody send y'all, hey, babe, hey, boo, through text message, like that, that shit really means something. That shit doesn't mean anything unless you actually start meeting the motherfuckers, okay? And why my girl, Tita, okay, um... I'm going to start calling her Tita, honey. Tita. Tweet me why I'm sitting here doing my review telling me that uh, <laughs> that Brian looked like the dude from the uh, from the mommy. The damn, uh, what was the damn guy name? Who who was the, the actual mommy? I can't think of his name. Emotep. Yes, Emotep or whatever. Uh, Tita, we're going to have to get together. And I'm going to have to get your information or some shit so we can FaceTime one time. I love my girl, Tita. Um, I love her to death. Y'all just don't understand. She's so funny. I've been tweeting her all damn day. She's a, she is a fool. I love her laugh. And her husband is hilarious. I'm here imitating me. I love it. I love it. love it. But let's go and get to the nitty gritty. The episode was boring. Oh, shit. See, it was so boring that my lamp is falling asleep. Okay? My lamp is falling asleep. Me doing the fucking review. So... Ursula gave Ariel the power. Ariel take her ass to um she thinks she's going to meet Prince Charming. She gets she gets to get rid of me and, and like Max and me going through so much shit trying to find their calling for. People don't know who the hell he is. Then they call somebody, they say they get a girlfriend. Then the catfish call him. And then he was just like, Oh well, I can't meet up, I got finals and all that kind of stuff. A lot of us were pissed off. Well, thinking that was a lie. But that was to me, that's the best best excuse I've heard for not wanting to meet anybody because you got finals. Nobody does any, like, during finals week, nobody don't have time for this shit, and he already know what Ariel look like. I mean, I'm not saying, Ariel, she looked like a, she like a thick version of Katy Perry. She was giving me Katy Perry tees or whatever. She wasn't a fun-looking girl, but girl, you sitting here fell in love with a man with, um, with a, off a cartoon, like a little fucking avatar, a fucking, um, fucking Xbox avatar, so how you found in love? So she meet the guy, and then Max and Eve, they pulling up to the guy's house, and I can smell a good credit on him. He just like he had, first of all, he's in San Francisco, and he had, I mean, the, the y'all don't know how high the cost of living is in San Francisco. For him to even have a decent house or apartment or whatever, villa, whatever you want to call this shit, it was, uh, he, he got something, because the cost of living up there is high as shit. So Max and Eve were pissed off that they drove all the way down there, and that dude not only was... He not the right person because I mean that's what we know. We we drive to see is he Skyler and he was not Skyler. He actually was not Skyler. He was actually another guy, um, Emotep. Okay, Brian was Emotep. So you know, and he looked like his mouth just came out of Mama's coffin because them dry ass lips. I don't understand. Matter of fact, before I, I got to make sure that my lips are on point first. I don't understand why everyone keeps getting their ass on catfish with these dry ass lips. Like, what are y'all doing for y'all lips to be so dry? I'm just not understanding it. Like, are y'all are y'all fucking using bricks, concrete bricks, for um to wipe y'all lips? Are y'all eating mailboxes, brick mailboxes before you go on the damn show? I'm not understanding. So, Max and Neva pissed that they went all the way from San Francisco, San Francisco to meet up, and this boy come outside. Not only is he catfish. He just don't give a fuck. He's just like, okay, you know, I've been catfishing a lot of folks. 
at um Max Bronger, Max be read. Max be read. Max said, um, so basically what you do, you hook catfish, you throw their ass back in the water. And he threw her damn Jen's uh, feelings back in the water. And Jen was just not having it. Jen was like, huh, huh. I was like, girl, Jen, girl, I don't understand. I can understand how y'all be falling in love sometimes. Because I have had some crushes with some people that I have known on the internet have never met. But you have to realize that if you don't meet their ass and you don't eventually talk to them and all that kind of shit, they don't want to FaceTime. There's no, I can't fall in love over fucking text message. And I think that's a problem that we all have. Like, you cannot to get to know someone through doing a fucking text message. You need to have some kind of other communication other than text them out. It's impossible. To see these stupid ass folk be on here every day, some here texting these folks and following any folk. That's why I need to talk to you. I need to FaceTime your ass. I need to Skype your ass. I need to Uber, I need to see your face. I need to be around. If it's long this I'm gonna have to see you. Like this text and shit. I don't get following I don't fall over fucking love unless you write me love letters, boo, and mailing them motherfuckers or emailing them to me. But not no damn text message. So Aria ass was pissed off. Uh um she was not having it. Master was reading that. I've never seen Neve so mad. Like Neve was like, motherfucker, I wanna bill you for this shit. You use my damn expenses for this bullshit and you just don't care. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna start calling Matt. I'm gonna start calling Neve the fucking Captain Saber Hole because he always want to say somebody like he always pressing. And Max and Neve be giving these old damn handicap ass, these handicap ass I, what, comments. Like she got through putting on that CVS pharmacy ass makeup on and shit. She was just like, she walked up and oh, oh, you look good. White people kid, white people Shay is so epic because that. They they'll do that shit. Oh my gosh, you! It's just like <laughs> just seeing it is just so amazing. How Max and he just looking at her like, oh, you're doing, you're working. Now knowing damn well they wouldn't talk to that damn girl. Y'all need to stop doing that shit. Don't don't sit here and boost my head up and blow my ass to motherfucking San Francisco. Okay, don't do that shit because you know that makeup was not. I was not feeling, it, honey. Instead of black people go to fucking beauty supply stores, ghetto ass, and, and to get makeup. White folks, they take their ass to Walgreens. That's they, they take their ass to Walgreens, CVS. That's their poor. That's their struggle. White people have different struggles from, than, than black people. But I love my white people. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love all races. And I read them all the same. So, um, Brian just did not give a damn. He just didn't give a damn. And they kept talking his ass like, you did this wrong. He's like, okay. I really don't care. Brian was painting his damn nails, honey, because that lisp. He was giving me some kind of tease, honey. He was giving me some tease. Some tease. I don't know if he was gay or not, but he just did not care. His teeth look like they can put Black and Decker out of fucking business, honey. Craftsman, Black and Decker, Lowe's, Walmart, the Tina Nose collection, all that shit with his bad ass. Because he like he can sew a fucking skirt to the to the tee with them bad ass motherfucking teeth, honey. He can sew the motherfucking, he can snatch, he can cut, he can slice, he can copy and motherfucking paste. Get into it. But I want to read Neve and Max ass. Let me tell y'all something. Neve and Max, y'all going to have to get this shit together. Because y'all, Neve, maybe not Max, you would tweet to myself, this is my favorite episode. This is my favorite episode. Catfish, I love it. But then, that's my white person. I, I think all white people sound like that when they talk. I'm just, just being funny. You were, now, you were tweeting about this shit being your favorite episode, but how was it your favorite episode? Only It was only good for five minutes. The best part of this show was the Beyonce commercial. You know that way I walk? The way I put it. Embrace your past, but live for now. That was only the best. That was only the, 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 the best part they had going on. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Because I needed some damn coffee to wake my ass up from this boring ass episode. Neve and Max, get it together. I'm going to need you to get in contact with Mona Scott so she can take, teach y'all how to make some shit up. Get some get some of Miss Tony gay ass friends to do some more gay episodes, honey. I don't care about these folks being pissed off about this shit, but we need some I need some drama. I'm not here for the love stories. I already told y'all. Now, one love story is good from the first episode or the last episode. Don't give me that shit in between. I need some juicy, juicy motherfucking shit. Because, honey, you ain't going to be able to do catfish too much damn long. I'm just going to be honest. You ain't going to be able to do that shit unless you've been recording, 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 recording when you first started the show and you're just going to give it to us. You're not going to keep doing because we're going to like, girl, now, everybody know about catfish. And if you ain't, 
You're not on this planet if you don't know about fucking. Come on, Lamb. Okay, can you just stay up for just a minute till I finish this fuck ass review? But that's all I got. Catfish was some damn slow. I really didn't like it that much. Um, not at all. The only reason why I did a review because I wanted to give my girl she, um, a shout out, Tita, love her to death. Um, and Ashley Shaz, I know she's gonna be asking, Justin, you, you didn't do a review, you didn't do a review. I'm just doing it just because the episode was boring as fuck. I was not here for it. Um, Tita, yes, we need to get in contact, boo. You need to, uh, I'm gonna have to DM you my number or something so we can FaceTime and so we can have a good key key, honey. I don't know if you know what key key is, but I'm gonna teach you what it is. But that's all I got. Um, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm gonna take my ass to bed because y'all see phone is already ringing, honey, okay? It might be somebody from Catfish calling me. Oh my gosh, let me answer the phone. It might be Missy Banks. Bye, y'all.